Hi, this is Jim again, and in this presentation, I'm going to uh, discuss, go over the choice assignment for our class. This is different than the uh, signature choice assignment, but the reason why I call them choice assignments is because I'm giving you choice of completing one of two assignments. One assignment is called Scenarios in Athletic Training Education and the other assignment is called the best of the best. Let me give you the big idea between the difference between the two assignments and I'll go into detail about each assignment. So in the scenarios in athletic training education, I'll provide you, uh, I think four different, uh, pretty typical scenarios that can happen in athletic training. Uh, the scenarios are in the forum. Uh, you can download the, the scenarios so you can read those. Um, and then you're going to basically uh, provide a way to fix the problem uh, through research. Whereas in the best of the best assignment, you're going to actually um, find one of the best college professors uh, that you're aware of that meets the standards of the Bain textbook. You'll actually interview them. You'll watch them do a teach. Uh, if possible and uh, learn more about their teaching through uh, that process. Okay, so that's the big ideal of each, uh, of each one of them. And inside the, the forum, I also have more materials for the best of the best, and I'll get into that as I go further in this presentation. Uh, regardless of which assignment that you choose to do, you will do another audio and video and or video presentation. You can select any type of presentation that you want to use. Again, I have a, a link in the class for a bunch of different types of online uh, screen capturing tools or uh, various web 2.0, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, presentation tools. Feel free to use any of those. The only limitation I have is that you need to be able to upload it to a form or link it to the form so other students can watch it. Okay. Regardless of what choice assignment you select, you are expected to be an engaging presenter. I don't want you just to read the material, have every single word if you use like PowerPoint or whatever slide, include every single word on the uh, slide, have bullet points, and be engaging to the uh, audience that is going to listen to your presentation. Um, if you're not sure how to do good oral presentations, do an internet search. There's tons of information. So that's 10 points of your of the 75 points that this assignment's worth. I already said number two. Number three, we've talked about in the other signature assignment. Uh, presentation, you are limited to a uh, two gigabyte file size in Moodle. Please upload your material using the ethernet. Don't try to upload this stuff on Wi-Fi. You'll never get it to upload in Moodle. It's just, there's, the files are too big. I, you may need to have different uh, parts to your presentation. It just depends on your presentation. Okay. Okay, so the scenarios and athletic training presentations, there's 45 points for this assignment. Um, so again, you're going to have a uh, choice again. You're, you will be provided with several, several scenarios in athletic training. And again, you can download the document that has these scenarios and you must analyze and utilize clinic, supported clinical education teaching strategies discussed in the literature to provide a better learning environment for the student. That's 10 points. Uh, your audio presentation should include this scenario. Identify the clin clinical teaching situation or concern that's raised in that scenario. So that's 10 points. Discuss the pedagogical strategy to re remedy the situation. How are you going to fix the situation using pedagogical or teaching um, theory that we've been discussing through our class and through other literature that you are going to go get? Discuss the desired learning outcome. 
that you want the student to uh, achieve by the time you're done with this situation and provide students questions for other students to answer. So those are your key things that you're trying to address in your presentation and always present uh, support what you present with acceptable articles or references and you're going to need at least five additional resources uh, obviously you can use your textbooks for this but you should be using journal articles and uh, other acceptable references then you're going to uh, post your discussion your presentation in the form provide those uh, two to two to four open-ended questions or statements in your form that you want other students to respond to and you also need to read and respond the other students thread during the, during the week that this presentation will be taking place <clears throat> then the other students in class will listen to the presentation and respond to other students in the class uh, there's gonna you're gonna respond to two other students presentations um, I probably have more details about this in the actual forum it just depends on how many students actually select to do this particular um, choice assignment if we have a lot of students doing this particular one I'll probably ask you to post and we have multiple people doing multiple different scenarios I'll ask you to pick one student that did the same scenario and one that did a different scenario <coughs> for this and I have information in the form more information about what you're going to do if you choose to do the best of the best presentation this one's a little bit has more information um, to do but um, so what with this one you're going to again find in a, a college professor that exemplifies the qualities of the best of the best teaching behaviors as described in Bain which you'll be reading that book you'll need to interview you may need to interview students uh, to find such a teacher at your college or at your school um, you can use one of your former teachers if you want but I do want it to be a college or university professor and this professor does not necessarily need to be an athletic training educator they can be teaching a different subject we're just looking for a professor that exemplifies the best of the best teaching behaviors that Bain describes once you find that you found that professor uh, contact that that professor ask if you can observe them teaching and interview them uh, if you are whatever reason not able to observe their teaching still set up a time for an interview uh, the interview should take about one to two hours you should record the interview because you will not be able to write everything down you hear and then you'll need to transcribe that interview um, you're going to have to have that in instructor sign the informed consent form in the demographic and complete the demographic form I have these in the forum that we're in uh, and you're gonna if you're going to observe them you need to use this observational rating scale to rate that teacher when they're watching them teach when you're interviewing them you're going to use the best of the best interview protocol so you don't have to come up with questions I've already provided that for you then you'll interview that professor that teacher in person or by the phone or Skype would probably be best the worst is email uh, but all those um, one way or another interview them then once you do the interview observe them teaching what you're going to do is analyze the teachers responses and develop a presentation in your presentation you'll discuss discuss the finding the following you provide us a, don't use their name provide a bio biographical sketch of your teacher uh, where they work what they teach where they went to college etc explain how and why this teacher was selected that's five points what themes arose during the teaching observation and interview about the effective in teaching that's was supported by the literature on the effect of teaching so as you're interviewing them and watching them uh, do their teaching you want to connect uh, what you saw and 
uh, got all their interview. Back to the Bain book. Where where were they alike? Where were they not alike um, through this? What did you see? What are some themes that rose that show that they were actually effective teachers? The support about the Bain book and other literature on effective teaching because we're going to be reading some of that stuff. You should provide quotes and appropriate examples from the teacher. Uh, again, do not use their name um, because we want to protect their their identity. Sort of like uh, we have HIPAA um, for the protection of patients. We have we want to protect these individuals' names for our presentation because we're probably getting, you may upload this on YouTube, and so we want to protect their identity. And the other thing you want to answer, and this is D, was the teacher really the best of the best? Why or why not? Support it with using research, the literature, especially the main book. And in your opinion, how could this particular teacher improve on their teaching? And the final part is a conclusion. What is the take home message? Or the so what of this? What's, what are some things that you can take home, the takeaways, uh, for us and for yourself that you learned while you were <clears throat> doing this pro project. Again, you, then you'll post this presentation in the forum. You'll provide two to four, op two to four open end ended questions or statements in the forum, just like in the scenarios for other students to respond to. And you also need to keep that threaded discussion going by asking more probing questions. And then the other students will listen to two of the presentations. Now, uh, these are all, all, both the choice assignments will be in one forum. So depending, again, it depends on once we start selecting which actual choice assignments students will pick in this class. So I think we'll have 14 students in this class. Uh, I'll provide more information in that forum uh, about you may, and if we have a good split between the classes where at the class where we have quite a few people doing best of best and quite a few doing a scenario, I'll have you do one of the scenarios. If, you, if, if you're doing a scenario, you'll do the best of the best, one of the best of the best, and one of the scenarios. It just depends on how many people uh, select each of these choice assignments. So we'll determine that as we go. Um, But for our forum, what I would like you to do this week, I would like you to pick which of the, excuse me, for our forum, I want you to pick if you're going to do the scenarios in athletic training education or the best of the best for this assignment. You need to pick this week which one you're going to do. And if you're going to pick the scenarios in athletic training education, I want you to identify which scenario you are going to use. Uh, in this particular assignment, more than one student can pick more than, more than let me rephrase that. Uh, I think there's four scenarios. Um, more than one student can do scenario one. Uh, so it's not first come, first serve with this particular assignment. So more than one student can do uh, the uh, scenario. So. Why can't that come out of my mouth right? <laughs> so to clarify, trying to make sure this is clear because it's not coming out of my mouth correctly. There is multiple scenarios. More than one student can do the same scenario. Hopefully that's clear. But again, pick which scenario if you're going to do the scenario. If you're going to do the best of the best, um, you don't have to pick your professor at this point, but you need to start looking at finding a professor. Both of these assignments are uh, about the same amount of work. It sounds like the choice assignment is less work than the best of the best, but they're, they're really the same amount of work. I do have a rubric for the presentations that you can get in the course documents, and so you should look at that. Um, I'll be rating you on your presentation skills. That's what um, quite a bit of the 30 the 75 points is 45 for the presentation, for the actual presentation, then 25 here, and then 10 here. So um, that's where the math comes in. 
If you got quite, I would start working on this assignment now too. Don't just like with the signature choice assignment. Don't wait to the last minute to do either of these assignments. Start working on them now. Um, if you got questions, please post them in the Q and A form because more than likely, if you have questions, other students in the class have the exact same questions. Um, if you need more help, please ask, and we can set up a time to talk on the phone so I can help you through the through this material. I look forward to uh, listening and watching your presentation and uh, and have fun with this assignment.